Helen Delahousse. God made millionaire. Coach Della. Helping take you from dreaming your dreams to living your dreams. I understood the power of beach money, residual money, you know that type of money where you've got your toes in the sand curled up and it's just coming in and you relaxing. You are what you're connected to and it all starts from the head. I encourage them to educate. But as long as you have the vision, I promise you the God I serve and that you serve will give you the provision. Yes. I promise you. I had to make sure that I wrote down all of my goals and I looked at them every single day. You're going to be able to speak in front of whoever you so like, just like I do it. Matter of fact, you're going to be better than me. You make them better than you. You make them stronger than you. You make them smarter than you. You make them strong. Die to yourself and God will do the rest. You understand? Transformation coach and motivational speaker. You have to learn how I'm going to lean on him, to lean on her, to lean on her to get what I need, a positive domino effect. Marketplace Minister, Helen Delahousse. Growing up in humble beginnings, we didn't have a lot, but I always had a desire um, to be something big in life. You know, I remember um, as a little girl, I used to lay in the grass when everybody was asleep and look at the stars. And I would just be like, if I can look up when I'm down, I can get up. That if I could stand up, I could walk away from it. If I could walk away, I could run. And if I could run, I could soar. If somebody just could see me and give me a chance, that maybe I could be somebody that would be remembered in life. I'd hide behind the pain, you know, at work. That was my thing, work, 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 a workaholic. Um, I worked 70 hours a week, um, no Sundays off, so at that time I didn't really understand my purpose. I was excited about the money, but I learned shortly after that that the, you know, if you don't have the quality of life, the quantity means nothing. I truly was living, but I wasn't alive. Artist International means so many things to me and has changed my life in such an incredible way. Um, Artist has just taken the shackles off of my feet. Um, no longer do I have a poverty state of mind. So I believe that Artists International has allowed me to um, see myself again through a new pair of eyes and to know that I can have and be anything that I so desire to be. And I'm very grateful for that. The garment is truly the sizzle. The garment does change your body, it reshapes your body. When I was able to put that size 12 dress on, it changed my attitude. And when you change a woman's attitude, you change your altitude. And I knew that I had my hands on something. Didn't know anything about the compensation plan. I didn't need to know anything about that. If this body magic did it for me, all of the people that I knew and that knew people, the power of duplication is simply amazing. Because that's what I started with. I just told five people about this garment. In less than two months, I had over 600 people on my team. So upon my eighth week, I said, you know what? I'm calling my supervisor today, and I'm calling in well. And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, I ain't coming back no more. She said, this cannot be that artist thing that you've been talking about. I said, it is that artist thing. Art, man, Artists International just opened up so many doors for me to be a good mother, not just to have the title that I have children, but I could really be a mother, the mother that I dreamed of having that I didn't have, I can be for my kids. I never thought I'd have the opportunity to help adults achieve their dreams, but if I don't ever help another adult to know I can help my own children achieve their dreams by being hands-on, it's priceless to be able to look in the mirror and have confidence and know that um, I make a difference and I'm going to be able to leave a legacy for my children's children's children. I have faced every obstacle that is out there. I just don't believe that there is any reason out there 
where you cannot live your dreams. You gotta find a why so compelling that makes you cry. When you don't feel like getting out of bed, when you don't feel like you're gonna make it, when you don't feel when you feel like giving up, when you feel like throwing up your hands, you gotta have something on the inside of you. I believe you can have whatever you want to have. I believe you can do whatever you want to do. I'm living proof. Artists International will allow you to pick up the pieces, to rebuild your life, to, to live beyond your wildest expectations. But first, you got to get in the mindset that you want it bad enough. And if you want it bad enough, you can have it. Motivational speaker. And I'm going to tell you something tonight. I knew the name had to be Mark Sellers. And I often share the story about me naming this company after DeMond Coleman and people like him. Because DeMond reminds me of a young man. I want you to go with me just for the next few minutes. He's at a race. You can close your eyes if you want to. He's at the race one day, it's the race of a lifetime. He's running. He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. He said, you know what, I'm gonna stop running, I'm gonna run a real race this time. Today, I wanna get in the race of a lifetime. I wanna run against peers that look like me, that may be better than me, that may have won more championships than me, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna get in the race. So he shows up at the race. Now, the mind might have been the smallest one there, no offense. He might have been the smallest one. You know, there's other dudes there, 6'5", 300 pounds. Had gotten all kind of trophies, accolades. The mind shows up. He didn't get have all that. He don't have the titles yet. He don't have the accolades yet. Nobody knows him. He don't have the portfolio, the resume. But he said, that ain't going to stop me. I'm showing up anyway. He gets to the start line. <clears throat> and he pulls his bootstraps up. He tightens up everything. And he gets on his mark. And the man says, take your places. Get on your mark. Get set. And go. And he starts running. I'm telling you, he starts running. He starts running. He's pacing. He's pacing. And everybody is faster than him, so they're running past him. <laughs> And he's behind everybody else. He sees all of this. But you know, something on the inside of him, even though he sees everybody passing him by, something called resilience. This makes it sound I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to run a little hard. And so he keeps running, and he's running, and he's running, and he's running, and he slips, and he falls. And he busts his knees. Nobody stops. The blood is everywhere. But something called tenacity makes him get up, wipe off his kneecaps. Doesn't matter who laughed at him, who talked about him. He said, I'm going to pull up my bootstraps and keep running. So he keeps running, he running, he running, he running, he running. Then he gets a pain on his side. The pain that takes his breath away. You know, because maybe he didn't prepare, maybe he didn't drink enough water. Maybe he wasn't prepared, but you know the other pain, the pain of life. You know, the pain of doubt that people have. The naysayers, you know what I'm talking about? That pain that takes your breath away. His side is hurting him, he's falling on, and he's I ain't gonna stop. I might be last, but I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna keep going. So he keeps running. The pain, and even it taking his breath away. He said, I can't stop because something called faith makes him rise up a little bit more. Through the blood he shed, through the breath, that he loses, through the pain in his side, through the embarrassment, he's the last one in place. He keeps on going. He keeps on going. He keeps on going. It's something called ambition. Ambition and favor starts to rain down on him. And he gets a speed out of nowhere. Before you know it, he's starting to pass. Component number one. Then he starts to go past component number two. Then, before you know it, he's leading the pack. Everybody's looking around, like you're looking right now. 
then I said, oh my God, how can he do it? He wasn't good enough to even be in the rest. He didn't have the credentials. He didn't have the resume. He didn't have the portfolio. He didn't have the ability. He didn't have the stability. How could he pass all of these people by? He's almost there, y'all. He sees the finish line, y'all. He's almost there. He's almost there. And he gets close to the finish line. He's almost there. But let me tell you what happens. This is why DeMond is one of the greatest leaders in art. This is why he's a true Mark said, because see, he hears a man behind him. I said, he hears a man that's right behind him. It says, I'm hurt too. I was almost there. I thought I was going to win this race. God, I didn't practice. I done did everything to get to this race. How could he come and he's going to win? And I'm almost there. The mind knows what it feels like not to be number one. He knows what it feels like to be the last. And he hears his voice, he hears his mother. He hears him, he says, as much as I want to win, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to grab you by the hand. And I'm going to pull you up right with me. Hmm. See, a true Mark said, is not so concerned about winning the race. He makes sure his people come in with him, or they better than him. If you cannot have relationships on a personal level, you will never have financial stability or the ability to go to the other side of money because before you can get too close to someone, you ruin it. Behind every uh, story, you know, every best-selling story, there's many chapters, sometimes unread. Teaching the mindset of financial freedom. But see, power of duplication starts with you. I may not be where I need to be, but I thank God I'm not where I used to be. You got to do what? Educate, motivate, cultivate, penetrate. So you can do what? Generate. Motivation. Inspiration. Education. Transformation. Coach Della, Mentoring Mindsets. Author of New York Times and Amazon bestseller, Do You Believe? and co-author of Living Proof Gifts Wrapped in Sandpaper with New York Times award-winning best-selling author Lisa No Matter What Nichols and executive producer and co-star of reality series Amateur Millionaires Club. Trained and inspired by powerhouse motivational speakers, entrepreneurs, and many more. Producing and transforming millionaires in corporate America and throughout the globe as a world-renowned transformational coach. Founder and CEO of Mark Setters International, committed to entrepreneurs with the spirit of excellence, and Matters of the Heart nonprofit servicing abused, rejected, and neglected women and men across the globe. Helen De La Huse. To book Helen De La Huse, call 713 303 5773.